When receiving vaccination, it is common to experience some mild to moderate side effects. COVID-19 vaccines are just like any vaccine. It can cause side effects because according to WHO, when someone is vaccinated, the immune system is instructing the body to react in certain ways. It increases blood flow so more immune cells can circulate. And it raises the body temperature in order to kill the virus. The most common side effects of COVID-19 vaccines are pain at the injection site, fever, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, chills, and diarrhea. They usually go away on their own after a few days. COVID-19 vaccines are said to be public's protection from getting and spreading the virus that causes COVID-19. It will also keep you from getting seriously ill even if you do get the virus. However, since December 2020, mass vaccination is happening globally. With hundreds of millions of vaccine doses have been administered, it is inevitable to encounter severe allergic reactions or side effects such as anaphylaxis, thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, myocarditis, and pericarditis, and worse, death. According to CDC, the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System accepts reports of any adverse event following the vaccination. CDC said that anaphylaxis is rare and has occurred in approximately 2 to 5 people per million vaccinated in the United States. Based on research, this severe allergic reaction can be life-threatening. It causes the immune system to release a flood of chemicals that can cause an individual to go into a shock wherein there's a sudden drop of blood pressure that eventually leads to blocking the breathing. Signs and symptoms include a rapid weak pulse, skin rash, nausea, and vomiting. As of June 28, CDC and FDA identified 38 confirmed reports of people out of more than 12.3 million who had J&J slash Janssen COVID-19 vaccine in the U.S. They had developed thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome. It is an evolving disorder that characterized by thrombosis formation or blood clots combined with thrombocytopenia, low platelet levels. Globally, there have been 1,000 reports of heart inflammation cases called myocarditis and pericarditis after receiving Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna vaccines. According to CDC, it occurs mostly in male adolescents and young adults aged 16 years or older. Myocarditis is inflammation of the heart muscle and pericarditis is inflammation of the outer lining of the heart. In both cases, the body's immune system causes inflammation in response to an infection or some other trigger. Experts say that no vaccines is 100% effective. Vaccine breakthrough cases are expected. There will be a small percentage of fully vaccinated people who still get sick, who are hospitalized, or die from COVID-19. Severe side effects and deaths after vaccinations are rare, but expected. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.